Hey there, Signs of the Air Tribe, and welcome to your horoscope forecast for the week of December 28th as we head into the new year. And getting us into the new year, literally, is an eclipse. So let's see how that's going to impact us. For those new to horoscopes, I focus only on the main influential energies that will be impacting you on the physical plane for the week ahead. Um, oh, I will be announcing the most viewed horoscopes. That's the horoscope that has the most views. Wednesday by 10 a.m. Arizona time, I'll be picking the most viewed horoscope. And that elemental grouping will get their own individualized in-depth forecast for the rest of the week into the weekend, into the new year. I also have a giveaway uh, happening right now, okay? Just all you have to do is leave a comment. You can make an emoji, show me some love. Please keep it at, you know, nice comments, preferably. You could tag a friend that can give you an extra entry. I'm going to be randomly picking one person from each horoscope Wednesday morning to give to for a free after or at New Year's from January 1st into the following week personalized forecast for you. So make sure you get to commenting and sharing. And hey, let's kick it off with Gemini. Hey there, Gemini. Okay, let's take a look and see what the what's happening for your week. Toil and labor. Well, let's see what the tarot has to say about that. I feel like a lot of you have been putting in a lot of toil and labor, a lot of work. So I feel like some rewards are coming for some. Some of you are entering a very busy week this week. Ace of Cups. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, look at you, Gemini. Go! New emotional beginnings. I feel like maybe for some of you, your toil and labor is paying off. Maybe it was a passion project, something you've been working on and working on and working on, but hadn't seen anything come to fruition, but you were following your heart and you kept going. Now, boom, new beginnings. It's going to a whole new level. Um, open your arms up for that cup there, Gemini. Good on you. And for those of you who've been working on yourself for love, be prepared because people are noticing that and I feel like some love offers brand new beginnings in love. The star, yep, Gemini, you're standing out. People are recognizing your worth. They're seeing you. You're being seen, uh, especially if you're doing stuff on the internet, social media. There, You're being noticed if your business is out there. Remember I was saying what you love is coming back to you. All your blood, sweat, and tears is about to pay off this week. Which is coming true with that star card. Queen of Wands, yep, go with that passion. Feel that energy. Step into that. I know that's kind of scary looking, but uh, this is a deviant moon tarot. <laughs> but very powerful imagery. Um, Queen of Wands, passionate. Step into that. You are a god or goddess. Okay, remember these are energies, not gender. Uh, step into that creative passion energy for everything you do this week. Oh my gosh, yeah. Because things have ended <laughs> anywhere where there was like you've been toiling and toiling and working so hard and you didn't see any movement. That time period is now over. Your, your, I'm telling you, your blood, sweat, and tears is paying off. Look, you, oh, ten of cups. You guys are about to have it all. Gemini, holy crap, in love, in career, in home. Oh my God, everything you've worked for is now you're finally going to start seeing it in the physical plane. Ah, <laughs> spirit's guidance to you. Get over yourself. Now make sure, <laughs> sorry, take a rest. I need to spit it out the rest. What I feel from this message here is just saying, remember to stay humble. Okay, never forget what it took for you to get to where you're at. I mean, yeah, we're going to feel good and stepping in there, especially with that Queen of Wands energy, like, you know, really stepping in. Damn, I'm being noticed and I look good. And da -da. But keep humble. Okay, <laughs> don't be arrogant, you know, just like everything else, uh, you know, it could be just, you know, sometimes we stand out there for five minutes, you know, we want to really embrace it and step in it with good intentions. Don't let it get to your ego. Okay, Gemini. <clears throat> All right, rise and shine. It's a brand new world. I'm telling you, rise and shine. You are about to get some serious blessings heading your way, Gemini. Remember, if you want to have your own personal forecast for this week, I'm doing donation-based readings. You can send me a message here on Instagram, Facebook, or if you're watching this on YouTube, everything's down below in the description box below. Thank you. Hello there, Libra. Okay, let's see what the universe is manifesting. Family room. Family room for some. Okay, family room. Uh... 
represents like where we, you know, we gather, we have our memories, but we also have like uh, kind of trophies too, you know, collections, things we collect. I don't know why that's coming up. Take what resonates. We're going to see why the idea of family room It's where everybody gets together. Uh Uh-oh. We're manifesting awareness. Uh Uh-oh. Libra's coming into awareness. You are manifesting stuff. You're building your own family room. (gasps) Ooh, somebody's going to have something to celebrate about. We got rejoice and celebration with the three of cups. Your manifestations are coming true. There's going to be something coming in. Let's see. Ooh, don't ignore your shadow work. Oh, don't let it get to your head. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see. Okay. All right. Here's what's going on. Libra, there's going to be some stuff manifesting. It could be... Uh, maybe you're waiting, uh, trying to have a child and you finally are, okay, and celebrating that. It could be, uh, it could also be a proposal, maybe an engagement happens. Um, maybe it's coming together with someone new um, at a, I, I just feel like celebratory, like, uh, you know, I know we have New Year's, but with COVID, it's kind of hard. A lot of people aren't actually doing parties. Um but I just feel like there's something that's coming in that you wanted to manifest. And everybody's like, you're, you you step into that happiness and all of a sudden it's like, da 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 here comes the shadow energy. Okay, so you need to stay out of your head, Libra. This is what you've been wanting. This is what you've been dreaming of. This is what you've been working for. This is what you want so bad. But things, your fears are coming up. It's like a big, huge trigger. You need to look at those and understand that this is coming to you from the universe. You deserve this. You're not going to screw it up. It's not going to be like it was before. Shit's trying to move. This is that your blockage is going to stop everything. Okay. You, you can do that. All you have to say, not right now. No, but it's still going to happen. Remember that though. Okay. But you're going to slow down. Everything's getting ready to move for you. It's ready to move, uh, whether it's work, love, something you're passionate about with that three of cups celebratory. It could be something, a passion project. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. So what was I seeing? Oh. Okay, sacral chakra. Okay, that's where I feel that shadow is going to be coming up from. That is self-esteem. That is sexuality. That is creativity. That is passion. That is just feeling confident. Okay, that's all going to be highlighted. So um, definitely work on your sacral chakra. Um, there's plenty of vid- meditation videos on YouTube. I, I use myself so to help clear that and get that moving. Yeah, you're going to you're going to see this movement choices and decisions. You know, it's up to you to decide whether to step into the celebration and really step in the moment going, "Yes, this is mine," you know, or to freeze and just not do anything. But remember, no action is a decision. Taking no action, just go, "I'll just wait over here." That's a decision you're making. So just remember, stay out of here. Step in here. Really just go with that feeling. It's so good and you deserve it. Prosperity is beginning. Okay, you have to trust in that. The signs are going to be there. Okay, let's see what spirit has for you. Spread the light. Spread that beautiful joy. If you're happy, spread it to spread it around. Okay, tell the truth to yourself. This is what I feel with this energy right here. Tell, be honest with yourself of why you're scared or why you feel you, you don't deserve this stuff that's coming in. What's terrifying? What's making you deer in headlights or sphincter clench, you know? See the light. You are going to see the light. The universe that's, uh, I feel like saying, I don't know who wants this number, but 33. Watch that number. Threes. Watch it. Because that's guiding you to your celebratory energy there. Libra. Okay, if you want your own personal read into this coming New Year's week, uh, go ahead and shoot me a message here on Instagram, Facebook. And if you're watching this on YouTube, everything you need to do to book your reading is down below in the description box. Thank you guys. Aquarius, let's see what the universe is manifesting in the physical plane for you. Courtship, courtship or partnerships. This could be job or love. Let's see what the tarot has to say. I feel like a coming together. Somebody's actually going to step it up. You got the king of swords energy in your energy, in your realm, sitting on your throne going, I, you can make calm, rational, uh, emotionally detached judgments, but still have not come across as cold and caring. I feel like that's being handled because guess what? Uh, seven of swords in reverse. 
thing. That which was taken is being returned to you there, Aquarius. Oh, brand new beginning. Got the Ace of Wands. Very passionate. Passionate. Reignition of passion. Mmm. I just had this vision of the shuttle going up. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You know, some things I don't even see there, Aquarius. This is funny because I feel like... Hold on, let's see. Rebirth. You're in rebirth mode. Rebirthing. Look at you. This is a whole brand new beginning in love. Uh, we got the Queen of Pentacles here. Somebody coming, somebody who is abundant, somebody who is stable, secure. Uh, they're down to earth. They're authentic. They're uh, very nurturing, very caring, and compassionate. But they also have their shit together too, Aquarius. Start, they, it's going to ignite your passion. High Priestess here presenting. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Really pay attention. Follow your gut. Don't listen to this. Do not listen to this. Aquarius, stay out of there. Be here and be here. It's okay to feel. It's okay to express passion. I have a feeling this person is going to ignite your fire to where you're going to be like, blah, blah. I, I have to say this though. For some Aquarians, I think someone's going to approach from behind your back. I feel like somebody's got a secret and you're going to be hearing about that with that high priestess in there. I have to say this. You may not be expecting. Remember, this is gender. Or not gender. Sorry. This is energy. It's not gender. Okay. So this queen of pentacles person could be coming out from behind the moon going, hi. You know, so be open. Lots of surprises for you, Aquarius. See what spirit has for you. Reach out. Okay. With that King of Swords energy, it might have been people you cut out that you feel like, ah, you know, now that you're, you're feeling zen, you're balanced, uh, you want to reach out, this week's a great week. And I also feel that people will be reaching out to you, Aquarius. Rebel. <laughs> rebel. 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 Follow your heart. Be the rebel. Get out of here. Rebel against your mind and, and step out of your fear zone, okay? You've got some good... With the courtship, there could be... Um, with that passionate beginning, that could be also um, uh, engagement or long-term commitments or a brand new road with somebody. Oh my God, I'm excited for you. We also have a spirit sending a detox. Some of you might have overindulged over the holidays. So it's time to uh, start focusing on your health and getting that back up. Drink a lot of water. I feel like I don't know who that's for. Just take what resonates. Um, I also feel that um, to really, I think you're going to be, uh, this is for health. If people are kind of not feeling so great, um, really take a look at what you're taking in. And maybe cutting back on that detox is very heavily favored this week because you got a lot of good stuff coming in. So you got to clear out the crap so you can, <laughs> that's not a wrong, clear out the crap so you can let the good stuff in running through your body. So if you want your own personal reading for this New Year's week, uh, go ahead and shoot me, a me shoot me a message here on Instagram, Facebook, or if you're watching this on YouTube, down below in the description box below is everything you need to know to book your donation-based reading. Take care, guys.